Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and my new bathroom. That's right. I just got back from Greece and in one week I packed my entire apartment up and moved to my new house. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, yes, I just came back from my trip. I jumped into a really stressful week uh, moving and it was my plan to show you a moving day or a moving night skincare routine. Um, today is not moving night. Uh, <laughs> been a few days because moving night I was very exhausted I don't know what I was thinking but it wasn't gonna happen um, and honestly I was like to the point where I was like I don't even want to do skincare I did it but I was very tired um, and that's honestly how I'm feeling today and I think that's how I'm gonna be feeling for at least a few weeks it's just it's a lot of work to get yourself settled and make you know your new place home I'm very excited about it but yeah, it definitely means that I haven't been like super experimental with my skincare lately. So today is really just about basic skincare, just making sure you're taking care of your skin, doing the basics. Um, I'm gonna get you caught up on what's been going on in my life and we're just gonna share some time together, um, hanging out, doing the skincare routine, which is gonna help it go by a little bit faster for me, who's so excited to jump into bed. So if you're so ready for the routine, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so I am gonna start off with a double cleanse because I do have some tinted uh, sunscreen on and some uh, mascara and some brows. And uh, honestly, I can't think of anything that feels more satisfying after a super long day than just like melting all the layers off of your face um, and just really getting that really beautiful, nice, clean feeling, that fresh feeling on your skin and uh, prepping for some fresh skincare. So for my double cleanse, I'm gonna be using the Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. And then I'm gonna use the Avene Zero Calm AD lipid replenishing cleansing oil, which is kind of like a um, like a nourishing, moisturizing, foaming cleanser. It's kind of a confusing name. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the oil cleanser first, just to kind of break down that uh, sunscreen and that makeup that I have on my face. And this is kind of like a thicker, it's almost like a cushiony um, kind of cleansing oil. I find it um, actually really comforting um, on the skin. It feels kind of luxurious. It's got a really fun slip on the skin. And um, you've seen me use this before. This is not anything new. Um, this is definitely um, a top kind of cleansing oil for me. It's got a really nice experience. And I don't know about you, but like one of my favorite things about cleansing oils is like as I move, you know, in like the circular motion, especially going towards like my nose, I can feel those little like sandy particles, those little grits popping out of my pores. OMG, it's like so satisfying. And honestly, after a long day with all this stuff on my face, it feels so good. All right, now I'm gonna go in for the Avene Lipid Replenishing Cleansing Oil. This is, like I said before, it is a foaming cleanser, um, but it is a little bit more like moisturizing. You see it's got like a little oily gel type texture. It's very comforting and soothing on the skin, um, and it's pretty low foam. Now, when I got back from Greece, if you remember, um, if you saw some of those vacation videos, you know that I was using a little bit of like incredibly mild exfoliation. I was using like a kind of old, slightly expired <laughs> tretinoin prescription and some azelaic acid, and it was very low level. It was enough to just kind of keep my pores sort of clear, but it wasn't like really aggressive by any means. And then when I came back, I was like, all right, let's get aggressive, <laughs> let's get back on track. And honestly, I, I just kind of overdid it. I think my skin was um, a little bit more used to the lower level, the slightly expired stuff. And um, when I went like full strength, I think I just kind of pushed my skin a little bit too much. And I had that vacation glow. Um, and when I came back, I was like, hey, the pimples are coming back. <laughs> And I think probably the stress, right? I had a whopper right here. You can see the hyperpigmentation. Um, it's it's finally going down, but uh, this is my stress. This is this is called moving. And that's what that is. So I went in a little bit too aggressive. You know, that's the short, you know, of it, right? Um, so I'm just treating my skin really gently right now, just to help myself bounce back a lot faster. Oh, my face just feels 
revived, you know what I mean? When you're like sweating and you have sunscreen on and it's been a long day and you're just like itching to wash your face. Cause it really is, you know, I have to say like, there are days where I want to skip my skincare routine when I'm tempted to. I just always think about how good it feels when my face is clean. You know, it really is like the symbol of the end of the day. It really is kind of that ritual of just like winding down for the night. And so even when I'm super duper tired, I still really like to wash my face because yeah, it's just, it just feels so refreshing. So I was about to just like put on my next layer because my skin is feeling a little bit dry, but I'm gonna share with you the toner that I'm about to put on, which is the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. So I haven't actually had the opportunity to talk about this toner yet because um, when I first bought it and I first started to try it out uh, was right before I went to Greece. I actually bought this at Ulta because um, I went there to buy the travel size of CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It was like the only place I could find it. And when I went to get it off the shelves, I saw this bottle and I was like, hold up. CeraVe has a toner and it says that it's new. So I'm guessing that this is a new product. I hadn't heard anything about it. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. Now, remember, this is a couple, this is a while ago. Um, so I picked this up, I started using it and I was like, I really like this. And then I went to Greece <laughs> and I kind of forgot about it. And when I came home, I looked in my bathroom. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I was in the middle of trying this. So this is the only toner that I've been using now um, for the last like week, week, week and a half. And I was using it like for a week and a half before I left. And uh, I've obviously used quite a bit in, in just a short period of time. I really like this. Um, this is actually... Um, kind of close to a Korean toner. Um, is it like my top five toner? Maybe not quite, um, but it's got some things going for it. Is it hydrating? Yes. Is it light, watery, quickly absorbed in the skin and easy to layer up on the skin? Check, 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 and check, right? It's fragrance-free too, and it's barrier supportive, just like you would expect with CeraVe. It's got some of the Ceramide NP in here. It's just like a really nice barrier supportive, simple formula. I think it's great for all skin types. I've really been enjoying this. It's just very straightforward. Um, I think that it, it is pretty close to a Korean toner because it really does actually hydrate the skin and it's not stripping it or like trying to treat it for pimples or being an astringent, like a lot of Western or really like, you know, like brands from the United States, like what you would find in the drugstore that's called toner it would not normally be this, but the skincare world is definitely evolving. And it's amazing to me to find a hydrating toner that performs for my thirsty skin at a local store, at Ulta, at a drugstore, at a pretty affordable price, it's a 200 mil bottle. And I, I wanna say I paid $10 for this. It's possible that I paid 12 and I just don't remember, but it's in that ballpark. I think it's very affordable. Pretty impressed with this one. Um, yeah, I really like this. Okay, my skin feels nicely balanced. I actually think I just did two layers um, and that's all I need. I am trying to speed through this because I wanna hop into bed as soon as possible. So I'm gonna go right in for serum next, no fancy essences or you know two toners, just going with the basics here. Um, and for my serum, I'm, I'm picking up the Biosan Squalane and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. This is not new either. You saw me talk about this a couple months ago, um, early in the spring. This is definitely a monthly favorite. I really like this. And I actually kind of strategically picked this serum for a couple of reasons. Like I said, number one, my skin is feeling quite sensitive and I'm just kind of treating it like a baby right now. Um, so I am not going to be using any tretinoin, exfoliation, nothing like that tonight. So I picked this because I feel like this is kind of like a heavy hitting targeted uh, serum with the copper peptide. It targets fine lines and wrinkles, elasticity. I believe copper peptide can also help with hyperpigmentation, but it just helps with an overall kind of like refreshed, rejuvenated kind of look to your skin. It's a very repairing peptide too. Great if you maybe have some pimples that recently popped. So it's a great ingredient that doesn't push uh, your skin. It's not aggressive. It's not an exfoliant. Um, it's not going to cause sensitivity. So that's really why I picked it because I'm going gentle, but I don't want to lose results. I still want to work on my skin. And I also picked it because especially over like Neod or the ordinary copper peptide products, which are mwah, chef's kiss, love those. 
This, because I'm doing a slightly more paired back routine, you know, for me, right? Um, the texture here, it's kind of that plumping gel texture with a little bit of moisturization to it. I like that texture a lot more than the Ordinary and Neon, which don't have much to the texture. This is adding, you know, that balance to my skin. It's giving me that peptide that's working hard for my skin all in one bottle, all in one step. I already put it on my face, I'm done, and we're moving on. So anybody who has ever watched a skincare routine from me knows that the next step would be uh, Stradia Liquid Gold and uh, a little bit of facial oil this time. It's the Ordinary Chia Seed Oil. I like to do one pump of this with about two to three drops of the oil mixed in on the back of my hand and then applied straight to my face. This is what I call my barrier care step. Um, and really what it is, is it's just kind of keeping my skin really strong. Something that I need right now, like I said, um, my skin just kind of needs to bounce back from some mild irritation. Um, anytime I feel a little bit of that like irritated feeling or sensitivity, I take it pretty seriously and I jump into action pretty quickly. Especially as a skincare tester, I have to stay on top of that because full-blown irritation definitely takes me out of the game for a while, you know what I mean? So I just jump on it right away and I'm not surprised that my skin got a little bit irritated because like I told you, I did you know, I, I kind of went in a little hard on my skin. I should have known better. Um, but it was also the stress of everything. I don't know if you feel the same way with your skin and linking it to stress, but moving is a very stressful event. Like it was very exciting because I have been planning this move for <laughs> a very long time. And I didn't, I actually kind of kept it a secret because I didn't want to, you know, I don't like to be that person who like announces things and then like it almost seems like it never happens. Like I just like to say things when they happen, not before. So I've been waiting patiently, waiting patiently, waiting patiently to be in my new space and I'm finally here. So it was a very exciting time. I was like so over my apartment. Um, you know what I mean? I was so ready to get out and um, I was so excited to be here. But moving is very stressful and getting everything into boxes takes a lot longer than you think it's going to. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to coordinate. It's a lot to do. It's physically demanding and tiring on your body, lifting all those heavy boxes and stuff. And um, it stressed me out. And like I said, I got my stress pimple <laughs> right here. I wasn't surprised about that at all. I was like, mm -hmm, I know. I know exactly what's what's about to happen. This sucker is about to explode. Um, and I do find that the stress is linked to my skin. It, it can be linked to pimples and breakouts, but I also feel like it can be linked to a weakened barrier or just more prone to sensitivity, more prone to itchiness and, and things like that. So um, I wasn't surprised that my skin was feeling a little bit off this past week. Um, but I know what to do. I know how to jump into action. Like I said, I'm in tune with my skin. And so I jump in right away to kind of help baby it get it to bounce back and it's actually been feeling a lot better today than it was even yesterday or especially two days ago um but all that being said like I know I'm like talking about the stress of everything and I'm so tired and oh I'm so happy to be here this is gonna be such an adventure like it's a milestone for me personally um you know to to get into a home um but also it is just going to be amazing for my creativity and for this channel because like i can spread out like i have so much more space now and um like i'm gonna have a filming room before i had a filming corner <laughs> now i have a whole room that i can do whatever i want with so i'm just I'm just so looking forward to everything that's to come, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not tired <laughs> from getting everything prepared. And um, um, I'm just so, like I said, I'm just so grateful to be here. Like, trust me, like I am saying that I'm tired, but I'm not complaining. Like I am just, I am over the moon excited. Okay, so for moisturizer, I'm gonna go in for, you guessed it, the Illyune Ceramide Ado Concentrate Cream. So this hasn't been my go-to for during the day um, in the summertime, which was kind of my suspicion when they reformulated this cream um, at the beginning of this year, it was the end of last year. Um, it's a little bit more emollient. It's maybe even just a little bit thicker than it used to be. I do have a video comparing this, by the way. Um, and my suspicion back then was that the, the extra emolliency and the extra richness of this cream was not gonna feel good in hot uh, summer weather. And um, that has been holding true for me this summer. Um, I did not travel with this to Greece, as you saw. Um, but it is something that I like to go to 
towards uh, during the nighttime. And um, it's actually a little bit cooler today than it's been. And it's not anywhere near as hot as it was in Greece. Like I came back here and it was like 85 and I was like, this is nothing. <laughs> it was like a hundred in Athens. Um, so I was used to, I was so acclimated to super hot temperatures. So when I came back here, I was like, this is nothing. And you know, every summer I'm like, it's so hot, it's so humid. And now I'm just like, this is nothing. Although I will say there's not as much humidity in Greece as there is here in Wisconsin. And that humidity can definitely, whew, that can really just, just slow you down and make you feel kind of yucky, right? But um, either than that, um, the heat has not hit me <laughs> the way that it usually does. Um, but anyways, Iliun, a little heavy for the warmer days, but not too bad for summer nights for me. And I do feel like I need a little bit more moisture um, because like I said, my skin was just feeling a little bit sensitive and raw. And I did notice when I went in a little bit too far with the tretinoin over the last week, Right around the edge of my nose was looking a little bit raw. It's actually looking a lot better now, but when I looked at it, it was really red. Um, and like I said, kind of like raw skin. So what I've been doing is just putting a quick dot, it's upside down, a quick dot of the La Roche-Posay Sika Plast Balm. Um, this is just like that Sika calming matacasticide and panthenol cream. I'm just putting it right there, um, right where that raw skin is. It really promotes skin healing and skin soothing, and so that's why I'm putting it here, and I have a whole host of Sika creams that I could be using, but this was handy <laughs> because this is what I took with me to Greece for such emergencies, and I did use this a couple of times when my skin was feeling a little bit vulnerable from the sun. Um, I would just use this to calm my skin down, and I, I've kind of been like living out of my um, <laughs> out of my suitcase a little bit because it's like what's the point, right? Um, coming back from vacation, I have everything I need all packed up and all tidy, right? So I've kind of been like wearing the same clothes and the same shoes and using the same skincare because it's just been convenient for me as I've been packing all my other stuff up. Um, but I'm really excited to get back into my skincare collection for sure. Not tonight because I'm too tired. Um, but once I start to unpack that, I I'm really excited because I have more space in the bathroom, I can keep more of it here at my fingertips, use more of it, because um, I feel like if you don't see it, you don't use it. Um, I'm just kind of going on and on, but like I'm really excited about the possibilities. And uh, that's it. I am going to put a little bit of Aquaphor Healing Ointment on my lips. I like to put a nice layer of this on my lips before I go to bed, and that's it. You know, I just kept my skin balanced, hydrated, moisturized. I did a little targeted serum skipped out on eye cream, skipped out on any extra essences or toners or anything. I just went in for the basics, which I know keeps my skin happy and healthy, treating it kindly for that a sensitivity and helping it bounce back. So I'm so excited to get into bed. <laughs> I am so excited to get some rest and I'm excited to start the next day and uh, see what room I can tackle next, what boxes I can unpack next. So um, I think my next video might be an organization video. Should I unpack all my skincare with you guys? Um, I think I might have to, but in the meantime, um, I hope that you are really healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. Um, I'm just so, so, so grateful that you were here with me uh, with this video to do this skincare routine to help me get through it a little bit faster so I can get into bed. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.